hi friends welcome to my youtube channel let us continue with the tally erp9 lecture okay so this is our second class in tally and in the previous class we have studied how to create a company now in this lecture we'll be discussing four items in tally that is how to select a company and how to shut a company how to back up a company how to restore a company all these four features will be discussed in this lecture so friends let us start first of all you can see this window here I have no company selected here I just open the tally I don't have any company selected as of now so I'm going to select my company when I open a tally and here I will have the option of company info when I have this company info feature I can uh, first see the first option itself shows me the select company feature I just have to choose the select company uh, I can either press enter or, or press uh, S alphabet okay so I am pressing it so you can see that uh, select a company feature and the path see I have a path uh, that is e drive YouTube tally ERP data in that I have created already one company which uh, we have already created in the last video uh, that company is there in this uh, data folder so now we are going to select this company which we have already created so let us choose the uh, HDL lectures limited see if there is more than one company in the same path in the same path if there is more than one company then all companies listed in this path will be coming here so you can select according to your requirement so I have only one company now so I will be choosing that company that is the uh, feature for selecting the company see if you have already uh, selected a company and you have to select one more company into the tally then you can uh, simply go to the F3 uh, underline uh, feature there you can see that company info this uh, feature in this feature itself you can once again go there and uh, you can see the select company option uh, then if you click that you can once again go to the same area and if you have more than one company to select here then you can choose that company currently I don't have any other company created so uh, I don't have to open the company here you can at a time open as much as company you want there's no restriction so uh, multiple companies you can open at one time and you can work that is a uh, another important feature for tally okay so this is how we select a company you have to understand that when there is no company selected you will be directly coming into the company info but if there is already one company which is in open then you have to go for uh, f3 feature that is company info from the right side company features from the right side from there you can select the company okay once you have selected the company then you have already worked out the company's entries and all this have been completed now you want to close that company uh, see uh, for that you have to go to the same uh, company info option in the right side see uh, you can see one thing uh, this is f3 one underline right if there is uh, f3 uh, then you can just uh, like this you can see f1 f2 f3 f4 right if the feature is f1 then you can just click the function one uh, function key in your uh, keyboard but if there is f1 with one underline then you have to select this using the short key as alt f1 in the same way you can use f2 for date but f2 alt f2 for period selection and the same way i want to if i want company info using short key then i have to choose alt f3 then i can go there so without mouse also you can go directly to anywhere using the short keys okay now 
now you can see uh, I want to show you how to shut a company for that we will be going for the company info and in that company info you can see that the third option you can see it is shut company you can just click on this and this with the uh, enter or you can click H alphabet so I'm just clicking it now I can see there is a shut company list how many companies I have uh, opened here that much companies will be shown in this list so if I want to uh, shut any company from this list I just have to select that company and just enter now you can see that the same HDL limited HDL lectures limited is now not appearing in this list of selected company so this is how we shut a company one thing you have to remember is that shutting company is not deleting the company entirely you can open the sh company which you have shut down using the same option that we have done before uh, with the select company if you go to the select company then also you can open it again then you can open it again at any time okay so shut company is just to remove the company from this list not from your system okay for that you have to delete the company it will not be done from this tally uh, software but you have to go to the data area where you have uh, created the company the path you have to go there and from there you can delete the folder but that is very dangerous don't delete unless you are very clear that you want to delete the company okay now now we have uh, gone through two features that is select company and shut company now see I have already created HDL lectures limited now I want to take a backup of this company either to make this secure that if any data is lost I should uh, get it from this backup so every week or every month I am using it for my security uh, or you can just use it for uh, copying and pasting to other tallies other uh, parties if you want to give uh, to others uh, the data of your tally then you can just take a backup and give a copy of that then they can open it in their tally okay for that for that purpose also you can use the backup file so let us know how to take a backup see uh, backup is uh, like something you are uh, copying from your data and placing it somewhere secure right this you can do in two ways either you can do it from the uh, tally itself or you can do it like uh, you have uh, done in the data see this is my data path this uh, 10009 is my HDL limiter lectures limiter data I can just copy this and paste it somewhere else in the uh, system or pen drive that is also sufficient that is also correct but the exact method is not by this way by copying paste you have to you have the option in the tally itself how to uh, backup so let us see how that we can do in the tally itself first of all select the company you want to take a backup then go to alt of 3 company info then you can see at the bottom there is an option called backup just to choose that then they are asking the source from where you want to take the backup I have already given my source which will be default folder where you have created your company you can change you can give any other source also and I want to give a destination where I want the backup so let me choose the destination I want it uh, yeah I want it here I am making a new folder tally backup okay let me copy this path let me copy this path and uh, let me paste here as my destination then when I click enter I can see that 
my company which is in this this source file those folder i can see that i will just choose that company and press once again the enter end of list then accept it so my backup is completed now when i go to the tally backup folder See, this is a this is a place where I have uh, asked Tally to keep my backup file. So this is my backup file of Tally. The one from the name itself, you can see that it is TBK folder. That is Tally backup. It's a short name for the Tally backup. Now we can give this file to anyone, or we can keep it uh, to any area, and you can open it in any Tally. Okay, that is a good feature for you to take the backup in tally. And now, this folder, uh, this file, you have to open in another tally means how you can open in the another tally or how you can just restore this backup file into other tally or the same tally. Okay let us see that first of all let me shut the company okay now i don't have any company selected now i am in the basic feature there i can see backup option and restore option also this from uh, we have already taken the backup of our company now we are going to restore for that let us Go to the restore option now it is asking me select a company to restore see in default your mouse pointer will be at this area if you want to change your de destination or source area you can just press the backspace okay uh, destination my destination is uh, where i want the restore the data and where is my source data my source data is in tally backup right this is already defaultly taken from my last backup file so this is my source okay that is correctly given here now i want to give my destination so let me give a destination folder tally restore data okay here I want the data so I have just opened the folder and copied the path then I came to the destination I go to destination and then I just paste I just paste it in the tally restore data then enter enter then select the company I have selected my company which I want the restore then yes button then now my data is restored see when you have done the restore button it will not be coming here as a company which is selected you have not selected the company you just have restored the company tally data so let us go to our folder and see what has happened now you can see see this is my restore data folder now you can see that the tally folder has been opened this is a file folder okay now when i go to tally backup this is a backup file from this backup file i have restored this data okay uh, this is how you backup and restore data in Tally. I hope you have understood how to do all these things. Uh, if you have any doubt regarding whatever, whatever I have taken, you can just make it on the comment box. Then I will be making video specifically for that. And please feel free to ask me any doubt. And uh, if you like my video, please share and subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon also for the latest updations thank you once again